weather aware day today and it starts this afternoon evening? It does, yeah. We've got chances for some of us to have an isolated strong storm out there. So again, not going to be widespread, mainly going to be that southwestern edge of the state. Uh, but still, there's a chance out there. So looking outside right now, just talking about showers. You look statewide, heavier showers off through western portions of the state. And we've got a whole lot more where that came from. You can see that moisture building from the southwest. Temperatures have been so mild, though, to start the day. We're in the upper 30s to mid 40s, depending where you're at. Your 12 hour forecast takes us into the upper 40s to low 50s this afternoon. Plan on those showers continuing into the afternoon. And after that, well, we bring, we're bringing snow back into the mix with us. Thursday could see significant accumulations of snow in the morning. Temperatures colder after that. We're in the single digits starting Friday. We have some congested traffic on this rainy Tuesday here. This is 3580 at Hickman. You can see that stalled vehicle right there. That's going north there. And then if you push toward the west, mix master where they're going in the other lanes, things clear up a little bit there. So you get going past 3580. Things clear up a little bit that direction. I-235 at East 14th Street. We've quieted down a little bit. Not as many cars on the road in this 8 o'clock hour. So we're good across most of the metro not as touch and go as we were just 30 minutes ago. A lot more green on that board. Few mobile speed units to look out for today. Des Moines police are checking for speed at 2600 McKinley Avenue, just east of there at 4800 Southwest 9th Street by the deep end dive bar, as well as 600 Porter Avenue. So our drive time shaping up pretty good. A Delta downtown is back on time at 25 minutes. Newton to downtown. That'll take you 28 minutes, Eric. Well, following in the news this morning at 826, the Johnston School District is now looking for a new leader. Superintendent Laura Casers announced she's stepping down effective at the end of June. The board says it's going in a different direction in leadership and Kaser respects their decision. She's been in that position since July of 2019. Starting today, Unity Point patients will start being charged for some MyChart messages. Unity Point CEO spoke with KCCI yesterday, saying the number of messages to medical staff from patients more than doubled during the pandemic. Now they could cost between $36 and $70 each. Patients will only be.